Hello there, today's video is on CSS. So I've got a page here with three paragraphs inside of it and I've got a uh, file here that I used to make it. Uh, so let's go ahead and start messing with it. Today's video is actually on the padding property of CSS. So let's go ahead and do a P and I'm also going to do a div of um, margin zero pixels a padding zero pixels and a border 10 pixels black solid save that refresh there we go so you can see um, these thick lines here where the doubles up where it doubles up on the border between the border of the div that it's in and the border of the of the um, of the paragraph um, and then of course it doubles up here with the two paragraphs borders so anyway um, so the idea is you can actually do a paragraph and then you do a padding of uh, let's say 10 pixels Oop, save that and refresh and the padding affects the interior of an element. It means that uh, in, there needs to be 10 pixels of clear space all the way around on the inside of this paragraph. So let's do a padding of 20 pixels. We can do a padding of 30 pixels and so on and so forth. Um, Let's lower it back down to 10 pixels and we save this and refresh. You can also do a padding left. So it's only got padding on the left side. Well, let's actually do it on the div. So we're going to do a padding of 10 pixels on the paragraph and we're going to do a div padding left of 10 pixels. So you have 10 pixels of padding on the left side of the div, uh, left side of the paragraphs. You can do a padding top. There's a little space there at the top of the div. All the paragraphs run up against one another. Padding right or padding bottom. Or with the div, you could just have the padding tag as well. And it requires everything to be at least 10 pixels away from the interior of the div. But the paragraphs themselves are allowed to touch each other, as you can see right there. Uh, so there's no margin in between them, just between the edge, the interior edge of the div and the exterior edge of the paragraph. So you can do uh, padding 10 pixels. And if you want to do separate settings for each one, you can do 10 pixels for the top and uh, we'll do 100 pixels for the sides. Now when you just specify two this becomes the top and the bottom and the second one becomes the left and right side. So refresh. There we go. You can see the top and the bottom are really narrow and the left and right side are really wide. Or you can do each side individually. So we'll do uh, 40 picks on the bottom and zero picks on the left side. So there you go. Top's really small, right's really large, bottom slightly smaller than the right side. Again, that uh, goes in a clockwise, starting at the top, going to the right side, to the bottom, and the left side on the interior. And that's how padding works. It pads the inside of an element, much like uh, padding a box when you ship it to somebody. So uh, there's 10 pixels. 100 pixels and refresh. There we go. Or we'll reverse it. And it looks like that. So you can do this on nearly every HTML element. I don't think you can actually do it with images. But uh, there you go. That's how you use the padding tag. And remember, there is a padding left, right, top 
bottom, but for those guys, you only use one declaration of measurement. All right, that's it for padding. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you use this in the future. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?